We begin tonight with breaking news in the case of missing mom Madeline Kingsbury. Maddie is the Winona woman who simply vanished without a trace on March 31st after dropping her children off at daycare. Adam Fravel, the father of Maddie's children, is taken into custody this evening and now he's facing second degree murder charges. We turn now to ABC 6 News reporter Emily Pofall who's live outside the Winona County Jail. Emily, tell us what you know about what happened to Maddie. Robin, Madeline Kingsbury's family says that they're relieved to finally maybe have some answers. Two months after Madeline went missing, Fillmore County Sheriff's deputies found human remains just north of Mabel, Minnesota this afternoon. The body was found in some brush off of Highway 43. And as a result of that discovery, authorities took Adam Fravel into custody on probable cause in connections to Maddie's disappearance. Several agencies are working together on this. Here's what we're still trying to confirm right now. The identity of the remains, as investigators have not confirmed it's Maddie, but they did say that they placed Fravel into custody because of the remains that they found. The Winona County, Winona County Jail roster shows Fravel, Fravel is being held on suspicion of second degree murder. We've attempted to get some more information from police tonight, but we're told more answers will come tomorrow during a news conference. As soon as we know more, we'll share it with you. We know he was the last person to see Maddie the day she disappeared. Earlier tonight, we spoke with Maddie's sister, Megan. She told us the person we suspected is now in custody. She says it's a silver lining. A big chunk of this horrible part is over and it brings us relief. Megan found out about the arrest this afternoon shortly after the BCA showed up at Adam's home. When we asked her about the second degree murder charges or if it was Maddie's body that was found, she said she couldn't comment on that right now. Robin. Thank you so much for covering that for us tonight, Emily. Well, last week I did have the opportunity to sit down with Maddie's sister, Megan. At that time, she was hesitant to tell me if her family thought Frable was somehow involved. But here's what she did have to say about trying to work with him and his family and helping search for Maddie. Um, you know, since we don't communicate with him and his family, all we can really go off of is kind of what they say on social media. Mm -hmm. um, and it's mostly, you know, they're upset that they're maybe not involved in certain things, but, um, you know, they haven't been particularly... They, they haven't planned anything of their own, I guess mm -hmm. I'll say. Um, any vigils or searches or um, get togethers, any anything like that when and as Emily mentioned, Megan found out about the arrest after the Minnesota BCA showed up at her father's home. She added that after the family is able to talk more in depth with investigators, they would be willing to share more information with us. But until then, Megan says this is a huge relief for their family. Maddie first went missing on March 31st after she and Fravel dropped their children off at daycare. Now, during the first stages of the investigation, Fravel told police that he left Maddie's home in her van and returned home that afternoon. The route that he took that day remained the focus of search efforts up until today when he was arrested. Fravel retained a lawyer, releasing a statement to local media addressing Maddie's disappearance, saying he has cooperated with law enforcement at every turn, including including sitting down for multiple interviews. He says he wants Maddie home and for her to be able to be with their two children.